gunfire on the 4th of July. One man is dead and another in critical condition after a shooting in South Sacramento. The bullets flying at the Bowling Green Village apartment complex. CBS 13's Tori Abadaka live with a search for the gunman. Tori. Yeah, we know that shooting suspect is still on the loose out here, and it's been a very active investigation all afternoon. You can see behind me still this police tape just blocking off a good portion of this apartment complex. Multiple vehicles out here right now. We've been watching homicide detectives going in and out of here, going up to all of these different apartment buildings, trying to gather evidence and talk with witnesses. So here's what we know at this time. Sergeant Amar Gandhi with the Sacramento County Sheriff's Office tells us that shots ring out at this Bowling Green Village apartment complex at around 12:30 p.m. People here tell us they heard at least two gunshots. Gandhi said one person is dead and another in critical condition. With a shooting suspect on the loose, there are still a lot of unknowns. I mean, it's going to be a long time. Uh, just looking around, you can see there's lots of apartments to at least try and canvas, uh, lots of evidence to try and gather. So uh, it's going to be active for quite some time. We spoke with multiple people living in this complex who did not want to go on camera, some with families and children, and people have mentioned that this area does see, see some crime, but they also just want answers for what happens out here. And back out here live again, this investigation still underway. I did speak with the aunt of one of the victims, who of course was just heartbroken right now, didn't have many words to share with us, but she told me that her nephew was just visiting this apartment complex, not information we of course have got and confirmed yet with police. But again, that was one of the victims aunts that I spoke with. Uh, again, though, still an active look for that shooting suspect. So if you were out here in this area, call Sacramento County Sheriff's Office if you know anything about what might have happened out here.